Hi guys. Have you heard of the latest channel where you can watch Nollywood movies? CPL Nollywood TV is a channel to watch interesting and trending Nollywood movies. Subscribe to ZPL Nolly TV on YouTube. Ega like ya. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Miss. I was so stupid not to look properly. I'm... Please, can you stand? Yeah, sure. Let me help you stand. Oh. Sorry. Did you hurt yourself? Do you need any medical attention? No, no, no. I'm good. Just that my nails hurt. I'm so sorry, okay? My bad. That's fine. Are you sure you're fine? Yeah. Alright, take care of yourself. Um, what's your name? Bianca. Jerry! I forgive you once I set my eyes on you when you were there. Bianca! I was never the same. I closed my can I have your contact so I can check up on you and be sure you're fine? I don't mind. I know everyone wants to have a taste of you. But I want all of you. That man is vulnerable. I am very sure he is going to develop a soft spot for you. He's an easy target. I know his type. 
I have studied human forms a lot. I am going to use my wiles on him. Mm. He deserves all that's coming before him. He does. And even more. This time, no mercy. <clears throat> Whatever you do, Do not open the Pandora's box just yet. Hello, Mr. Jerry. Just Jerry. No Mr. or any formality. Hi, Jerry. So, how are you doing? How is the knee? I'm very well. I can walk now. And the interesting part is I don't feel any utter of pain. Wow, that's like the best news. I'm so happy. You're very kind. Of course I have to. I mean, I would arrest any man who would try to cripple a pretty and elegant lady as you are. Mm -hmm. Um, can I ask you for a favor? Go ahead. Can I take you out to a nice lunch or karaoke? Please? Um, haven't you done enough, Jerry? Um, it's just my way of apologizing. Okay, no problem. All right, I'll call you later for details. <laughs> And that person is you when you're smitten over a woman. Mom, really? Yes. <laughs> you're right, though. That's lucky. Hey, Mom, don't conclude yet. I mean, I, I just met this girl. And maybe we'll start from being just friends. That's if you want to be my friend. Best believe. And even more. I hope the same, too. Impressive. Thanks, Mom. I would like to meet her soon. Yeah, you, you know, you can actually invite her over. Mm -hmm. Let's meet her. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. What is it? Mom, you know, 
I, I don't want it to seem like I'm being too forward with this girl. You know, I just met this girl. Doesn't matter. Listen, son, she might like you. I'll be waiting for you to be fast about the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Mom, you just heard what he said. He just met this girl. Mom, girls are good actresses. They are good at masking their real identity and putting up with a charade. Do you want him to end up with a travesty? Chica, what is this? Mom. This is actually the first time your brother is loving a woman genuinely. Mm -hmm. If he wants to be fast about it, then so be it. Mom, you let him do it first. Okay, 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 that's fine. You win. I'm going to talk to her about it. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you win, please. Oh. So, Mom, do you have food? Because I'm famished. Of course, there is food. Of course, I do. Mm. <laughs> Can't wait. Ngasi! Ngasi! My contact is already working on the A4 model as we speak. Perfect time. He wants me to meet his mother and sister. I have a good feeling about this. And I see where it's going. I see where it's going to go. I see where it's going. Well, my son has said a lot about you. I'm really glad to meet you. The feeling is much for mom. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, Cherry, you have a wonderful family. Man, the love you all share is awesome. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you so much. Actually, we are all we have. <laughs> yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Her for someone else. Chica, I know what I'm talking about. That girl is irresponsible. <sighs> There's every tendency you're mixing this whole thing up. Trust me. If you say so. But you guys got to be careful. She might be putting up an ad. <sighs> Bianca is a nice person. You don't even know that girl. If you come close to her, you will like her. All right, all right, if you say so. I will be leaving now. Oh, it's okay, girl. Let's. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm sure she's not the one.
Hi, babe. Hey. How are you? I'm very well. Hi. Meet my best friend, Daniel. He's been away for a while. I've heard so much about you and all amazingly good. Oh, really? Yeah. Good to see you. Come here. Speak up. You <laughs> look like who wants to explode. Babe. Yes? I got the contract. <laughs> oh my god! Congratulations! Thanks, babe. Thanks. That is good news! Yeah. Wow! This is really nice. Bianca, you've brought a radiating light into my life. And I must say that my life hasn't and will not remain the same since I met you. Stop. Stop flattering me. You know I'm not. I mean every word I said this minute. It can only get better with you by my side. That's why I want to say, please, marry me. All I wish is to wake up and go to bed with you by my side. I want to grow old with you. Nothing, babe. It, it's nothing. <laughs> Damien, you look good, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm so happy. Me too. I find that really interesting as well. Really? <laughs> good one. Mama soon be here. Yeah. We have a wedding to prepare, don't we? <laughs> of course we do, Mama. Good How are you, well. I'm very well. You're welcome. You look beautiful. Thank you, darling. <laughs> You're welcome. Christie's death, it's very sketchy. And I don't just understand it. It's so sad. It's really sad, I must say. She was so jovial and full of life. Jerry, isn't it a bit too early to start planning your wedding? I mean, you just met this girl. Chica, come on. I called her some respect. You know her name. Chica, the heart wants what it wants. I mean, it's just too early. You just met her. It's my business to decide if it's too early or not. You know, I really don't think I need a million years to know who 
is truly there for me. Exactly. So, Chica, I think it's time for you to loosen up a bit, okay? I've had enough. I have to go. That's okay. Her friend's death is getting to her. My thoughts is that the mom. Yeah. It really is. I need my plants rolling like fireballs. And I am leaving no stones unturned. Ship is already sailing. The wedding is in two weeks. You know what that means. Of course we do. <clears throat> I must advise that you do not get so used to his niceness. You need to focus on the task at all times. Thank you for bringing out the vulnerable side in this ever raging so well you know that that is because you are my one and only and when this reprisal is over you and i will sail the world Babe? Yeah, baby. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but your sister Chica did not seem happy on her wedding day. It feels as though she doesn't like me or something. Come on, baby. I mean, Chica is just being jealous. But now that you are my first and only, she's gonna get used to it. Now that we are man and wife, this is the beginning to forever, right? And to be honest, I have never been this complete before. As an orphan, you have grown inside of me, and I don't even feel as though I do not have anybody. Thank you. You're welcome. And that's where I want to be. Always there for you, engraved in your heart. Be your knight and your shining armor. That's so cute. I love you so much. And I love you too. I told you I don't trust that girl. But she is part of us already. Come on, is it based on what your late friend said? For crying out loud, there was a mix-up. Okay, why don't you trust her? When that girl has something up her sleeves, it's obvious. Come in! How are you, dear? I'm very well. You?
Babe. Babe, are you okay? You know, I I noticed something on this account a few days. Initially, I thought it was just a minor issues. But now, a lot of money has left this account. What account are you talking about, Ray? It's the main family account that I put Cheka in charge. Babe, are you trying to say that Chika is stealing from you? Um, I, I wouldn't like to say that until I do a thorough check on this account. I mean, I don't understand what is happening. Yes. Yes, you should. I mean, I wouldn't want you to accuse her wrongly. Uh, babe. I know there is something wrong somewhere, okay? But maybe I should just send you some details so you help me check, okay? <laughs> Will you do that for me? Sure. For you, my love, I would do anything. Thank you. <sighs> it's okay. Okay, well, let me check something first. Um... What I found out. What? You've got to be kidding me, baby. No, I am not. Chica has been stealing from you and siphoning your money into another account. And she has used almost all of it. This is not happening. Well, it is happening, babe. Sometimes the people will least expect betrayers from the ones who will betray us. Hold on. Wait. No wonder she has been so mad at me, babe. So I will not suspect her and expose her schemes? Jeez. You know what, baby? She's gonna get it very hot for me. Very hot. Your sister. Stealing from you. Wow. That's really bad. So bad. Chica. Chica. I won't forgive you on this one. This is it! Chica, why would you do this to me? Why? I don't understand. Don't understand you what? Sense. You don't understand what? For the fact that you took me for a fool, or for a fact that you've been stealing for me. I beg your pardon. Don't beg my pardon. Are you going to deny it? Answer me! Are you going to deny it? You took 30 million naira from the savings account without my knowledge. Why? Come on, this isn't me. Then who did it? Who did it? I have done all the confirmation I needed to do. I've even gone to the bank and confirmed everything. You even stopped the alert from getting to my phone numbers and emails. Excuse me, are you going to stand here and accuse me of taking a penny from the company or what? Don't you even try to blackmail me emotionally, okay? Listen. 
I'm going to get your name from every document I have in them. Jerry! And from this moment, you won't receive a penny from me. I'm done talking about this. Baby, she knows you don't have to feel any out of guilt. You did the right thing. To the best of my knowledge, you've shown your mom and sister nothing but love and kindness. You don't deserve to be treated that way. You're very right, baby. Thank you. You're a very smart lady. So now, finish your food because you need to rest. Early morning tomorrow, you're having a meeting with investors from South Africa. I know. Though I feel very weak and tired. I guess you're just stressed. You'll be fine. I know. I love you. I love you, Mom. I have gotten rid of her. For I doubt she will not want to put up a fight. If she puts up a fight, you know what to do. No. If I do that, all fingers will point at me. Chica is not a threat here. The main threat is the enemy under your sheets at night. The main villain of this story. The slow poison deserves our patience. I have already started putting it in his food. And the good thing is, it is untraceable. So before he realizes what's going on with him, it must have destroyed his system beyond control. You are a genius, I must say. Baby. I am so sorry. I didn't want to disturb your sleep. So I went to my former house. A friend called, she needed work done with some paperwork, and I slept off. I am so sorry. It's okay. But I didn't know you had some friends, though. <laughs> I really don't. He's just an old schoolmate, really. It's okay. So what do we have for breakfast? Nothing, just a normal coffee. Oh, Mom. Good morning, Mom. Mom, you didn't mention to your comment. So now I have to obtain permission from my son before I visit him, right? Um, well, Mom, I didn't mean that. I mean, I'm a married man now, so I deserve some privacy. Well, I am not here to waste your time. I'm here to let you know that your sister is not a con artist and will never be. But mom, all evidence are glaring at her. Even a blind man could understand. Shut up. Shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Listen, let this be the very first and last time I will talk and you talk. 
Is that clear? No, mommy, not gonna talk to my wife like that. I don't like it. Jerry, I will talk to her any way and anyhow I deem fit. This girl has come to destroy my family. She is here on a mission to divide our family. No, mom, it's you and Chica who feel that you can control me whenever or however you want. But you know what? That's never going to happen anymore. Watch your words. Choose your words. Do not overstep your boundaries. No, mom. I said what I said. You know, I, I was having a good time with my wife before you walked in here, okay? So you may well excuse us. I have an important thing to attend to. Are you asking me out of your house? I shall be back. Can you imagine? Come, just come have your breakfast so you don't run late. Okay. I mean, what is wrong with Baby. Um, Damien, I, I want to tell you something. Oh, Chica, go ahead, please. It's it's about my sister-in-law, Bianca. And what about her? Something is not just right about Bianca. The night she came to the house, Christy suspected something. She told me personally that she's met Bianca somewhere. And um, Bianca is a loose and irresponsible woman. Uh -huh. That same night, Christy died. I mean, I told my brother about it. But I, he still went ahead with the marriage. I mean, everything was so fast. He doesn't even listen. And uh, right now, I'm scared and I'm confused. I don't know what else to do. Um, Chica, calm down. I think it's all a coincidence. This thing. Bianca seems to be a likable and lovable person. Just relax. You think so? Of course. Uh, Jerry is all we've got. I don't want anything to happen to him. Yeah, I understand you, but Jerry is safe. If, if Bianca was off, I would have told you. So you just have to calm down, okay? Take it easy. Jerry is safe. Let's just find somewhere and... Get some things, maybe eat or something. What do you think? Oh, okay. okay. All right. Babe. Mm. Who is that? Your mom is calling. Please, I'm not interested. 
You don't want a peacock? I'm not peacock. Okay. You need to get all the rest that you need, okay? Sleep. Thank you, babe. Thank you for taking your time into making me a priority. You're a sweetheart. You're a sweetheart too. And I like the way you've handled your family by putting them in their place. I know. I know they love me. But after that incident of betrayal, I, I can't just trust them anymore. Right now, I need some space, though I might change my mind later, but for now, I want us to build our own family. And with that baby in your womb, I'm going to be a proud father. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm happy to be. Come on, that's enough. Sleep. Go to bed. For my son to hate my daughter and I? <laughs> uh, what do you think? Well, I, honestly, I don't know how I could not see through you. Even when Christy said that you were not actually who you are, we all thought she was wrong. She might be wrong. You never can tell. Well, Bianca, your plans have failed. Because this minute, I will tell my son the kind of woman you are. And you will be disgraced out of this house. Well, that will not be possible. You know why? Because I had your son here in my palm. And your son will only do what I want him to do. Do you understand? Except you want me to open up your dirty secret about your son's father not being his biological father. You are delusional. Absolutely correct. Now you listen. I have every evidence to make your son hate you for the rest of his entire life. Do not. I repeat, do not dare me. Who exactly are you? You let the cat out of the bag? Just one cat, Tunde, just one. One cat is enough to ruin everything. What if she had you recorded? But she did not. And even if she did, I already got her cornered. By the time she realized herself and eventually want to tell him, I am done with my plot. I think Bianca is making a great deal of sense. Besides, I do not have much time. Henceforth, no holding back. I am taking over and getting back all my losses.
Mom, you've been in your shell since you got back from Jerry's. What's happening? Crying. Why, why would you say so? Mom, what happened at Jerry's place today? Chica, there's no point trying to unravel something where there's nothing to unravel. Your brother is now married. He has his own family. I think we should just mind our business and give them some privacy. Some space. <laughs> mind our business and give them some space, you say? Yes. You know, for a minute I thought you were on my side, Mom. Of course I was. I was, Chica, until I thought about it. We're reaching out so much. This is unbelievable. Like a stranger comes into this family and turns everything upside down. Your son, I mean your only son, has broken all bonds with you. And what do you say? We should just sit back and do nothing. Mom! That girl has used voodoo on you and Jerry. A celebration. Yes, it sure does. So what do you think, babe? Family and friends? No, 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 my love. Sit down. You see? You know, not everyone is happy for you. Some people are jealous of you. I know. And I believe you. That's my love. So now, thinking out loud, I think we should share all your revenue. Have a joint account. That way I can manage everything that has to do with your finance and properties. Baby, who else will manage everything that consigns you better than me? Nobody. Mm -hmm. You have a point, baby. Let's make it work. Good idea. <sighs> I love you so much. I love you more. <sighs> okay. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now. Okay. So now it's celebration time. Why don't you? Keep your legs down. Let us celebrate. Mm. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Once the paper works are done, it means that anything that belongs to him will automatically belong to me. This way, the money they were expecting in his second account will be siphoned without his permission. Just like we did with Eno and Tim and uh, made Chica the scapegoat. Very correct. We're about to be 100 million richer. More like a dream country. 
Yeah. Baby girl. I would like to have a taste of you tonight. Then be my guest. Tunde. I really want to thank you for all you have done. I mean, it's by the help of you and Eno that my plans are going as planned. You know that I will do that and even more. Hmm? I know. You know he is having a taste of his own medicine, right? Yes. I have to go now. That's all right. All right. Sharing our father's company with that kind of curious witch. Mom, look. I just told you something and you're saying nothing. What would you have me say? What do you mean, what would I have you say? This is my father's company and legacy. The fact that he put Jerry in charge, I will not allow that witch reap where she did not sow. Chica. She is his wife and there is nothing we can do about it, legally. Mom! I would never believe you could say anything like that. Knowing fully well that witch is up to no good. That girl will hear from me. And this time, I will shop with her in her place. Chica. Chica! So that you can frame me up. Because you know I don't trust you, you slimy snake. And the question is, who let the dog out? You killed Christy, my friend, because she found you out just to cover your track. When I don't trust you, what do you do? You turn around as a smart woman that you are to frame me up, causing a rift between my brother and I. Chica, you seem to forget that your brother is not blind. And he saw through you and what you aim to achieve. Oh, lies. You framed me up. Admit it! Chica. Chica, you're the least of my problems. Everyone knows that you are a thief. And you know what? Stop this pretentious act because you've got nothing. I mean nothing to prove. You're a thief. Is that why you killed Christy, my friend? Why didn't you answer the question? 
or you're guilty. Huh? On the contrary, I will stoop to your level of degradation. You know why? Because you're just a delusional thief who just got to find out. And you know what? I am done having useless conversations with you. You won't admit everything you have done to me. Now else I will teach you a lesson that you have let me go. You will go outside. If you don't, what are you doing to my wife? Are you crazy? Baby, are you okay? Get out of my house this minute. Before I'll do something, I'll leave to regret. Jerry, what is wrong with you? Can't you see that this bitch is a psycho trying to manipulate I you? I said get out! Open your eyes, Jerry! Open your eyes! I said get out of my house and now! Go! Do you regret this? I said get out! to you or our baby, okay? I'm here for you. I'm so scared. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. so belittled and embarrassed in my entire life. Bianca humiliated me. She called me a thief. Then I confronted her to say the truth. When Jerry walked in, she turned everything against me. I know you wouldn't have done anything like that. You are one child I can vouch for any day, any time. It's okay. Wipe your tears, okay? It's obvious that girl is here for a mission. But by the time I'm done with her, she wouldn't know what beat her. <laughs> Jerry, my mom. Very soon you're gonna be a dad. Man, that's a huge news, bro. Thanks, bro. You don't know how much of a happy man that I am. I'm going to have a mini me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure right now your mom and your sister must have been overjoyed. So happy. Yeah. But I'm not sure I'll tell them. Maybe when she is um, heavy and ready to deliver. Come on. You mean you're not going to tell the two people in your life? The only people closer to you all these years. Come on, bro. 
you're changing, bro. Yeah. No, 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 no. Change is a constant thing. And that's what Bianca is doing to me. She opened my eyes. Bro, that's not true. If not for anything, she should bring you closer to your family, your mom and your sister, and not taking them away from you. Damien, what family are you talking about? The one that is selling for me? Come off. Eat, really? Bro. Come on. Listen, that can be doctored. Have you thought about it, bro? It wasn't. I confirmed the date, everything, okay? I'm not stupid. That too can be staged. Banks can lie. I've known your sister for years. I rightly say your sister, she's not a thief, nor a froster. That's your blood sister we're talking about here. Damien, you know, I, I think meeting you here was a mistake, okay? And I'm also sure that my sister is feeding you with lies. Let's call it a day. Jerry. Jerry, where are you going to? Have a nice day, man. Jerry! Jerry! When were you going to tell me? Tell you what? Tomorrow we're expecting the hundred million naira that we agreed was going to be paid into our joint account. And the contract is concluded. And that's what's going to happen. Wait. Why did you say the contract is concluded? I mean, I haven't even done yet. You're not done? Sure. Haven't even signed the contract. Baby, where did you get that from? Well, I guess, I guess I was just feeling insecure. Oh, I mean, I thought you have started keeping things away from me. Oh, come on, baby. You don't have to think that way, okay? Look, with me, you don't ever have to doubt your place in my heart. Okay? Come here. No smell for baby, your baby. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean you lost the contract? That's what they said. That's a lie. I don't know. Okay? Okay, they said the contract has been given to someone else. They claimed they sent an email, but I never responded. This does not make sense. How can they send you an email and you did not respond? I know. 
I guess I'll just accept my loss and forget about the old thing because I'm tired. Accept your loss? We're talking about a contract worth millions of money and you want to accept it? Baby, calm down, okay? Calm yourself, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just... I just thought about the... work and efforts we've put into this contract. It's so sad that we lost it. I also understand it's a huge amount of money, but... We can't possibly kill ourselves, right? Yes, my love. Yes, we can't. It's okay. I'm sorry. Rest. I'll go dish something for you to eat. There is something I need to tell you. I've been postponing it. Hoping to... to find the courage to tell you someday. Mom, you're getting me panicky now. What is it? She has been using it over my head. She even want me to stay away from her. Otherwise, she would tell Jerry the whole truth. Hey, Mom, what does she know? Uh, that your father... That your father is not... Jerry's biological father. Yes, your son is at home, but you cannot see him. Did I remind you that you're not invited into this house? Or have you forgotten the last conversation that we had? <laughs> What's funny? You and your schemes are funny. I tell you one thing. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, my son will never eat me. Really? Yes, really. What about we tell him the truth about his paternity? <laughs> that will not be necessary. Because that is why I'm here. 
you wouldn't dare. If Andy is not your biological father, and your mother does not want to tell you the truth. You are raving mad. <laughs> oh, babe. That, that was a joke, right? Mom? Was it a joke? Mom, go and tell my husband the truth. Stop keeping the truth away from him. It's disgusting. Mom, you are a demon. Mom, Mom, what is she talking about? That, that was a lie, right? No, Jerry. I. It, it's true. Mom. Don't feel bad. Mom. <coughs> but. You ain't my girl. Mom. What? what have you done to my child? What have you done to your child? Jerry, 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 you're a demon, Jerry. Hey, Chica, that girl twisted everything. She's a devil's spawn. Ah. He will sure come to terms with it. Maybe he needs closure. I know. But not when he is still in the arms and tentacles of that witch. <laughs> of course not. I have every clue to peg her as Christie's killer. What did you just say? You heard me right, Mom. This is unbelievable. I will not let anything pass her, Mom. And as for this, I will keep it. But first thing tomorrow morning, we're forcefully evicting that witch out of that house. Uh, do you think this is enough evidence? It may not be, but there are too many coincidences. First, Christy attacked her and left. The next thing we heard, Christy is dead. And this earring is the exact earring she wore that night. The coincidences are just too much. Chica, we will do everything we can. Jerry cannot afford to sleep one more day in that house with that witch. And that's exactly what we will do, Mom. Ah.
It's time we did something. I'm going to make this easy for you. And I need you to cooperate. Accept you want things to go messy. What, what, what are you doing? What are you doing to me? What, what, what's going on? What's going on? Shut up. Don't you ever call me baby again. Not now. Not ever again. Why are you doing this to me? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Why? Where is the money? Where is the hundred million naira that you received and lied that you did not? What money? What money are you talking about? Is this is this the means to an end? I thought we were in love with each other. You carry my child. Stop! Stop it! I will never carry your cost child. Never! You need to start talking. Oh, I blow your brains off. And this time, with no mercy. Just like I did with your sister's friend. Now speak! It's not true. Not true. Definitely it is. You 
Your mother and your sister were right. I am that devil who is said to ruin your life. And that is exactly what I am going to do. Who are you? And what did I ever do to you? Where is the hundred million? And you are going to sign more than half of those documents to my name. You must be insane to think that I will give you anything. I won't give you a dime. <sighs> Shut up! Shut up! Everything that you have, everything that you have belongs to me and I'm going to take it by force. No. No, I am not. I have been sick, tired, angry, and raving mad. I have been mad all these years and I'm just about to get my pound of flesh. You're not making sense. True. Nothing has ever made sense to me all these years. But by the time I am done with what I have to do, everything will eventually make sense. What did you just say? You get the picture now, don't you? Where is my brother? Relax. Relax before you get a heart attack. I said, where is my brother? Now you listen. If you dare to get your authorities involved, I swear, I will bring your brother back in ashes. She just revealed herself.
done to you. Well, you don't know, but this is violation of my human rights. Why are you doing this? Jerry, you're such an actor. As a matter of fact, you deserve an Oscar for pretending not to know what you have done in the past. What are you talking about? Your greatest sin. I just didn't know you. I'm not sure I've met you before. Please. <laughs> Please. You killed my parents. You killed my parents and went away with a huge amount of money. And left me penniless. Look at me. Look at me. I am that little girl. That little girl who you made an orphan at a tender age. You left me to face this world alone. Alone and abandoned without any parents. I beg you. I beg you and your gang not to pull the trigger. I beg you. But no. You did not listen. You went to hell and killed my parents. For what reason? Because, because you felt you were God at that instant? I am Sylvia Okonkwa. And you have the guts to ask me what you have done to me? After killing my family? After killing my parents? Taking their money and leaving me an abject penury by killing them? I am going to kill you. But before I do so, you will give me back all that belong to my parents. You hear me? 
I'm so sorry for your ordeal. No one should ever go through such tragedy. No one. Shut up. Shut up and stop trying to patronize me. The only consolation that I need is for you to give me back what you stole from me. Please believe me. I had no affiliation to your father's death. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Please believe me. Are you trying to manipulate me or what? I made all my research. I know very well that you are the same person that pulled the trigger years ago. Don't try to act smart with me. It wasn't me. It was my twin brother. It was my twin, not me. Stop it. Now you have to stop it. I repeat, stop trying to manipulate me. I swear with every name I believe in. He told me. He told me everything on his dying day. He told me how he went with his group of friends to one Mr. Coco's house. He confessed everything to me. He died many years ago from kidney failure. Stop telling lies. I am not lying. The other of his friends also died some years ago. Just one of his friends is still alive. And his name is Tunde or Lighton. What did you just say? I said it, it, it wasn't. I mean, I mean, to name you just mentioned Tunde or Lighton. Baby. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> I can't wait to leave the country with you. I can't wait to be alone with you. You know that mm -hmm. I have waited for this moment. We need to go in. Why are you in a hurry? Let's go. Let's go. All right, all right. No, all right. I'll have this one. I don't want to stress you. Let's go, baby. Okay. It's been you all this while. You clouded my mind with lies and made me believe it was another. Come of it, Bianca. I think it is time I let you in on the truth. 
the truth that you have been, you have always been a means to an end and nothing more. You killed my parents. In company of Jerry's twin brother. And another cult. And you made me believe it was Jerry? Why not? There were identical. He made me lose. He made me lose the most precious thing in my life. My daughter. She was sick. Terminally ill. And I needed 300,000 Naira. 300,000 Naira. Tony had the money, but he refused to give it to me. So my daughter died. My daughter died. And I vowed, I vowed that Jerry will pay for his brother's sins. And so I found you and befriended you. And made you believe that I loved you and wanted to help you bring to light your parents' killers. So I I discovered the deepest of secrets and made you use it against dear mother. Now, what you didn't know was that there was a dead twin. Now, that is the twist of the whole plan. If you had known that, it would have given everything away. And so I used your pain to my gain. And today, I am a hundred million Naira richer. What would you have done? What would you have done if you were in my shoes, Bianca? What should I say? Sylvia. I was so foolish and selfish to abandon and treat the ones I love so badly. <laughs> I won't blame you completely, Jerry. You were manipulated and also you were so much in love with her that you couldn't see her past. I'm so sorry, Chica. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. 
I know you have every right to be angry. Yes, I did you bad. I'm sorry. Come on, Jeremy. How can I even hit you? You're my blood brother. And I've made it my responsibility to always look after you. Does that mean you've forgiven me? A million times over. I was scared of losing you by telling you the truth after losing your twin brother. Mom, whatever happened is in the past. The only man I know as my father is Chief Andy Oya, my one and only father. Nothing will ever come between us again. Amen. Amen.